CataractCoach.com, pre-placement of the chopper. This is helpful in learning horizontal chop. And so the technique here, let me show you. Rex is already done. Hydro section is already done. Here's the FACO probe in the eye position one. Chopper's going in. FACO probe still in position one. Now the chopper's placed under the rexus and around the lens equator. And then the FACO probe is embedded in the eye and the chop can be achieved. And so the technique that we normally do is we buzz them the FACO probe first to hold the nucleus, then place the chopper. But remember, then it's time sensitive because you only have so much holding power in terms of time. Because once you have that phagoprobe probe embedded in the nucleus, it'll start to eat away at the nucleus. You only have a window of maybe a second or two. In this technique, the chopper is pre-placed around the lens equator. By pre-placing it around the lens equator, you're able to then take your time in engaging the nucleus with the phagoprobe. probe. Then when you engage the nucleus right away, you just step on the pedal, get a little bit of energy, and then hold it with the vacuum and complete the chop. So that's the idea, is to pre-place that FACO probe before you do the chop. We'll watch this again. I'm going to show you the rest of this nucleus removal, and then we'll watch the entire nucleus removal all over again. So we really drive home the point here. You can see once that's done, and you have pieces like this, like this hemi-nucleus, very easy to break it up into other smaller pieces, and then continue from there. Very simple to do, really no, not much issue there at all. So here's the last bit of nuclear piece, and then let's rewind this, and watch again. So again, here we go, probing the eye position one. Now pre-place the chopper under the rexus, around the lens equator. Now it's positioned. Now the phagoprobe probe is embedded. The instruments are brought together and apart, and there is your chop. And now just spend some time propagating that chop all the way through the nucleus. That looks great. So again, that's the pre-placement. This is a nice technique. If you're just trying to learn horizontal chop, if you do it the traditional way, like I explained, at first buzzing in the nucleus with a probe and holding it, then you have only a window of one or two seconds to hurry up and quickly and efficiently place that chopper around the lens equator. Now, if you're an experienced chop surgeon, you've been doing this a while, it's no big deal. It's easy. But if you're just learning this, try with pre-placement of the chopper. Again, probe in the eye position one, gently place the chopper under the rexus, around the lens equator, hook that lens equator, now place the phagoprobe probe in the eye and place it just in that sub-incisional area inside the rexus. Get a purchase on the nucleus by giving a little bit of energy and then mostly vacuum. And then go ahead and chop. Bring the phaco um, chopper tip towards the probe. And then split them apart and propagate the chop. And again here, the rest of the case is easy. Once you have that first chop, the trick is the first chop. Because once you have that first chop, the rest is easy. In fact, a lot of my videos you'll see, as soon as I make one chop and get two nuclear halves, I'll just wolf them down and call it a day.